I believe so. I already got the core from here. There was nothing on the other side. Ah, uh, <coughs> great. Alright, I just wanted to jump through that because I don't know if there's any more fires. So that was a drive room. We went to the sea moth bay. We went through here. So I guess time to head back uh, into like the prom bay. Let's eat some more food though. Let's drink some water. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, so far so good on our resources. In fact, like I think uh, I think we're almost done exploring the Aurora over here. So, without further ado, let's continue. Wait, what's this? What's this? Battery. Eh. Uh, nah, I'll just put off on that. I'm going to take some of those batteries though because... Um, well one, let's... I mean, I've been using my repair tool a lot, so... I don't know what to expect. I honestly don't even know what repairing these wires even does. Because... They don't look like they did anything. Uh, let's see. <gasps> oh, hey. <gasps> Storage module. Oh, yeah, I definitely need that. I definitely need that. Alright, let's jump up here. And let's go into what is the living quarters. So here's a supply room. There's some water, a couple nutrient blocks, but uh, I'm not going to bring them with me because... I'm still good on all that. Yeah, I guess this is what people eat in like the this universe, like in the future. Nutrient blocks, honestly, looks a little depressing. Hey, a vending machine. I wonder, can I can I actually get snacks from it? It's Let's see, let's see. No, that's Cyclops upgrade. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, single wall shelf. Yeah, let's get this. Um, anything else here? Let's trash can. Oh yeah, let's get a trash can. Now that we've got a place to properly throw away stuff. Alright, I'm definitely taking this as cute composter. Integrating new PDA data. Let's see, spacebar veluit velit sensor introduction to the interstellar vacuum. And twenty first century microscopic hard dig grades or space bears have adopted have adopted and flourished where no other life forms have condensed into a smooth nutty protein rich soup they are the lo freshest local ingredient available to travelers on long haul space flights mm, main cottage pie nutrient block rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy served with the topping of mashed Chinese potato picked fresh this morning from onboard grill beds and the side of sauteed Chinese potato plant leaves for the time conscious m consumer the usual nutrient block options are available it may be consumed cold or reconstituted at the on-site fabricator 
And then dessert is dried fruits and nuts. Unfortunately, a recent accident in Cargo Bay 3 involving the incorrect application of a repulsion cannon in combination with the modified battery charger resulted in the venting into space all of space of all the hydro desserts. Fruits and nuts will be the only available dessert for the next three. Ha! <laughs> wow, that sucks. Uh, I don't know. The mini didn't sound that bad. I don't know. What is it? Oh, another fire extinguisher. I don't know how good that, uh, those nutrient blocks are, but that other thing, like that main force, sounded pretty good. <coughs> okay, so. Let's drop that. Man, you really, really had to extinguish the flames a while. Um, I should probably take that. Alright, I already went in there. Nothing of interest there. You pull up the flashlights. Cabin 1. Cabin 3. Scan the single bed. That way we can craft ourselves a bed. Open storage. Oh. Oh, there's nothing in there. Carry all. Ah, uh, I see. Hmm, I might take one just to have. Ooh, I'm taking this though. That prawn. Soup post or filtered water, sure. Hey, that's filtered water. Not disinfected. Alright. Alright, so it looks like there's nothing in here. Yeah, and these things will electrocute you in case you were wondering. <laughs> um, the captain's court. Alright, there has to be a way to open these. Like... I think it was like in one of the messages here. Let's see. Anything from the Aurora? No. Oh, okay, yeah, like here we go. So high security turn. Okay, so two, six, seven, nine. All right, let's. Check that out. 2679. 2679. Hey, it worked. Basic double bed. Wow, this guy gets a double bed? Makes sense. Captains get everything. Hey, Aurora miniature. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take these wall shells. Or I'm gonna scan these wall shells so I can. Build them. Um. New blueprint acquired. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. I'm gonna 
This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications Relay Offline. Alright, so it looks like we found the blueprints for an escape rocket. And it was developed by Atatar Heracor specifically to get you off this planet and back to the nearest phase gate. Uh, it says it may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. It consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform. Floating platform provo provides a solid base from which okay gantry structural support stage one primary thruster for reaching atmosphere escape free resort cockpit so one person life support short range communications adaptable power supply operating shielding uh, on board on board AI will not launch if local threats are detected. Mm, the use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. Alright, so it looks like we found our way out of here. This, we're gonna have to build this rocket. But it's not gonna be easy because maybe like building it may be the easy part, but getting the power source is another thing, and that's another thing we have to take into consideration as long as that uh laser is still there. The rocket will launch because it'll detect the threat and even if it didn't for sure that laser would just blast us right out of the sky so we still need to shut it down yeah <clears throat> <laughs> looks like this guy was playing Craig McGill simulator uh, yeah it looks like it's kind of like a Choose your own adventure type of thing. Alright, so there has to be a way to open this. I know there has to be like... Uh, codes and clues. Oh, that's where that transmission is? Oh, I didn't even read this and it was right there. So let's see. You're telling me you've been to this, you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside? Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. We've plain got nothing to do till we get Starside to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars? You've only got to say, my spare prompt suit's got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented hands. Wanna play catch with the passing meteor? Come by cabin number one. Codes 1869. Alright. 1869. Let's see here. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, okay, just engage in human relationship. Uh, if every physical good in the from a single supplier would constitute personal relationships are the same, it is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require. They are not. They are not wronging their original supplier by changing arrangements. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it's performing competitively. There's always room. Well, wow, so it sounds like it's just like saying. Uh, it's just basically saying something like, uh talking about relationships 
I'm just seeing them how it's see, saying how they're a fair exchange of value and just comparing it to like business model and stuff like that oh, it's weird <laughs> the way they look at rela they view relationships is weird okay oh, I'll take that wait am I al really already full no not yet Alright, um, cabin two, but from the looks of it, there is no way of opening cabin two. It's just water. See, is there anything else here? Oh yeah, cabin four and cabin seven. There's a mirror there. Another prawn poster. Nutrient block. Speaking of. I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. <clears throat> How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. <laughs> wow. So inconsiderate. Alright, uh, I need to get rid of this. Alright, uh. Integrate oh, it's just PTA a tap data. Charity is an archaic concept which the realism of today's alterance has rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most of out of for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Altera Arms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as a philanthropic beneficence, facilitation service, promoting synergy between employer and workforce. A operates on a lottery system. By investing any number of credits, you'll be entered into our prize draw. Larger investments yield higher chances of winning. Your credits will go toward training unskilled colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and interpersonal skills. Um, the colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge on um, condition of a minimum contract with one year with one of our investors on completion of their training. Alright, I guess. Whatever. Uh, all right. Huh? No, I don't see anything in here. No, I don't need a first aid kit. All right, let's get the potion cannon. not working. Huh? Alright, I guess that means no cabin 5 either. Huh? I will 
take that. I guess I'll take that battery now. Um, <clears throat> so I guess that's everything, huh? Unless, is there other way? Is there like another way through? <gasps> oh shit. Like something I missed? No, I already explored this area. Just double checking though. Yeah, I... What did I pick up? Oh. Alright, I already downloaded that. Um... Alright, so... Yeah, I don't see anything else here. So let's head back. I'm just making sure... Got everything. Get some light in here. Mm. Okay, I can't open that with the laser cutter. I already went through there, right? The locker room? Yeah, I did. Um, hmm. Well, I don't see anything else. So, I already went through there. So, let's head back in here. Oh, there's another fire extinguisher here.